All right, folks, today we're gonna to be installing this beautiful, modern, I like to call it a farmhouse look to it, but it's not really a farmhouse look, it's just a really modern look to it. But the matte black is kind of like your newest colors on your modern houses. This is gonna be installed on a farmhouse, that's why I call it a farmhouse handle, but it matches my other handles, which is absolutely beautiful. Now the company does offer other colors as well, but matte black is the most popular color, so that's why I got this one. I do like the kind of square look to it here on the bottom as well, push button handle. We have an interior square handle, which matches up with all my interior bedroom handles, which is absolutely awesome. Very nice and heavy, great quality, great fill to it as well. You have all your matte black finishes here, a little plastic on top. We'll go ahead and remove that for protection. This is your deadbolt up here, all matte black with your nice round square to go ahead and match the look of this here. Just like all my videos, guys, in the description box below is gonna be the direct link for this front door handle, back door handle, barn, wood shop, wherever you wanna install this. I'll be installing this either on my front door or on my back door. The reason why I might not install it on my front door is because I'm in a full remodel and my new front door is in that box right there. So I might be installing this on my back door, but same method applies, handle and deadbolt interior. We have all our mechanical functions here. We have the deadbolt here, again, plastic just over the top of that matte black. There's Bria, my puppy. Bria, say hi. And then this would be your door portion for the handle portion here. And if you are wondering, came well packaged, everything in bubble wrap in the box there. You guys over in the UK, I will have one linked like this. If the company doesn't sell it in the UK, I will have one linked for you guys as well. Once again, in the description box below are your links. And if you are wondering, they do give you a door cutout template if you have a brand new door that does not have any holes in it. And on the back is a little bit of directions, but I'll go over some key steps with you in this video. Let's go ahead and install it. All right, forgive the wind here, but this is what your lock is gonna look like if your door goes in like this here, because obviously it needs to butt up against that and close. You'll use the provided screws and go ahead and screw it in here and here. I would probably do that after everything is bolted in really nice. As you can see here, the exterior portion is looking absolutely beautiful right here. You will, of course, if you don't have a pre-existing hole, we'll have to drill a hole through here and down here as well. Just follow along the directions if there's anything confusing. Okay, so coming in the interior portion here, we see the top portion going in the little center channel here. I actually had to pull out my extension, be able to fit, and it barely fits in there right there. If it did not fit perfectly, I would have to actually cut that a little bit more for this one to slip in. Now that this one slipped in, I wanna go ahead and mount my screws with my interior handle like this, not like this you can do this if you really really want to for like a pull-up function like that uh, let's see I actually might do that if that blocks my window I actually could do it like this and then pull up that way to get out but we'll see what it looks like with it pointing this direction I accidentally actually pointed it this direction and obviously that's not gonna work for the interior portion of the door here so once again I'll either mount it like this here or I'll mount it like this here and that slips on right on through there your holes are gonna be here and here that's gonna line up and then you're gonna use your provided screws like this there's three of them for one two and then the third down there okay I think it looks great it's not blocking the window pretty much at all so that's a great Great option if you do have a window like this. Now when putting on this screw right here, what I did is I just used a regular Phillips screwdriver, lifted the handle up and then screwed it in like this here. That just prevents a little bit of scratching if you go over the top here. This one, of course, is real simple to get to here. Now, coming up to the deadbolt portion here, grab your deadbolt, remove your plastic when you're ready, and you'll see a little up right there, a little arrow, and it says up. That goes up, obviously. And then you go ahead and slip this guy on in just like this here. And if it comes up short like this, you'll have to extend it, which I'm gonna have to do here. So let's pull it on out, and I'll show you how to extend it here. So you flip it on over, and you see a different couple sizes right there, two and three fourths, two and three eighths. I'm gonna go ahead and get something I can push this little tab in, 
sliding it and I'm gonna go ahead and slide it to the long one. Well, overall, super easy to install. A couple steps, but not bad at all. Start to finish very quickly. Looks absolutely tremendously sharp right here. Now, obviously, when it warms up a little bit more here in Colorado, I'm gonna be doing an exterior paint job white and then repainting this door as well to kind of make it blend in a little bit more beautifully with some nice trim around the door. Again, this is a full remodel, so forgive the not beautiful craftsmanship of the house right now. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a little look-see here. Now, I have not screwed these portions in quite yet. This is just kind of a dry fit here, but overall very impressed here. Handle up and down, goes inside right here. Deadbolt, boom, 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 boom. Nice deadbolt there. Now, I did that vertical. I'll leave that up to you, what you want to do there. Nice and square here with our lock right in the middle with your key, our push handle right here. And once again, remember, you do get three keys with this door handle here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the interior portion once again. Nice and heavy, looks beautiful, white on matte black. And that matches beautifully with the same type of handle I have for my interior doors. If you guys like videos like this, full remodel videos, excuse my sweatpants on the bed, accent walls, flooring videos, custom windows, custom Ikea upgrades, doors, windows, all sorts of stuff, we're working our way through the house here. Here is the master bathroom. We're going to be doing a freestanding tub. Beautiful. There's my pantry. We're knocking down walls. It's good stuff around here, guys. Now, if you are wondering, I am not going to put in the portions right here due to this door. This is a very small sill. Typically, you would mount this on your front door, but you do have options if you want to go on your back door. Once again, this is my back door here. When I do install my front door, I'll probably switch this over to my front door. But again, like I said, the overall quality is very nice. And this door is a little janky, as you can see here. Obviously, I've pulled off some molding right here so this is not your typical front door but I'm just showing you that it does work beautifully again very solid got to watch the wind blow the door open there very solid and heavy construction not your cheap lightweight this is a nice handle and these work for this sill and they are meant for this sill so unfortunately the screw holes don't line up on this particular sill but on a standard door they will and obviously, since I've pulled off some trim of the door here, you can see the deadbolt locked in there nice and long as it's all the way to the right portion there. Make sure you just line up everything nice and straight and beautiful. Overall, very happy with it. And if you're wondering, that is not mold. That is just older wood that I'm probably going to be replacing around the trim. So anyway, stay tuned for more DIY videos. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, if you are intrigued, and if you're wondering more about it, again, your links are below. But just like all my videos, guys, please don't go into debt for anything that I do make a video about, please. But if you have the cash and it intrigues you, go ahead and purchase on away. Also, please, if you wouldn't mind, hit that thumbs up button on your way out and subscribe to the channel as well. More videos like this and tech videos, DIY projects, etc. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you on the next one. My name is Chris. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos. Continue to watch. We'll see you soon.